Hi Z Kids! I'm Indiana from Zarephath Christian Church and today we're going to meet Cam and Ryan for another episode of Right on Time. Right on Time is a super fun show full of games, music, and God's truth. Today we're going to continue to learn about what being humble means and how you can put others first. Today's episode is going to be all about the snack time. So grab yourself a healthy snack and let's enjoy the show together. What's up everybody? I'm Cam. I'm Ryan and you're right, right on, on time. time. Today's show is themed around the best time of the day. Snack time! Now, Ryan and I have been friends for a long time, and one thing we both have in common is how much we love food. That's right. Now, while I prefer the sweet stuff, Cam is more of a salty snack lover. Yeah, I do love an ice cream cone every now and then, but most days I'll take chips, pretzels, crackers, anything else salty over the sweets. Ooh, speaking of potato chips. It's time for our daily challenge. Woohoo! I'm so pumped about this one. I asked for this one as a special request because I know how much you like chips. <laughs> you guys may or may not know this, but there are lots of weird potato chip flavors out there. Like, really weird potato chip flavors. Yes, and we are going to try some today. But like always, there's a catch. We are going to be blindfolded, and we're going to see if we can guess what each flavor is. And whoever guesses the most correctly wins the challenge. I'm so ready. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, I'm a little nervous competing against you because you <laughs> basically live off of potato chips. Okay, All right. you, got, you got a chip there? Yep, you got a chip I here? Got it. All right, let's, let's try it and see. Sniff test, not getting anything yet. Barbecue? No, it's not barbecue. It's like a smoked vegetable, like. What? Like smoked peppers. Okay, I was gonna say smoked peppers. All right, all right, that's my guess. And uh, what was yours? Barbecued salsa. Okay, Ooh. let's uh, take off the blindfolds right. and look and see. Rotisserie chicken? chicken? Well, we got the kind of smoky barbecue <laughs> flavor, but. Chicken potato chips? <laughs> Chicken. Did, Wild. Did not get the chicken. Wild. Part. Yeah, missed that one. Okay. Well, that's a that's a right. for each of us. But <laughs> let's go on to round two and see what happens. Here we go. Oh, that's funky. Loaded baked potato. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm gonna say balsamic vinegar. Come on, this one. Baked potato. I'm going with baked potato. I'm going balsamic vinegar and baked potato. All right. Masks off. Philly, Philly cheesesteak? Cheese <laughs> Who comes up with these flavors? And why can't we identify them? Man, our taste buds are broken. Okay, round three. All right. Here's our chance. We gotta get a win here. Well, this is a different shape. Oh, yeah, it's just. This is Dorito? Toastito? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh there's some fire oh. there. Oh, there's some fire there. How are you doing? I'm out. That How are you doing with that spice? Spicy is not a flavor, it's a form of pain. I mean, these are good, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Woo! Spice chip, spice chip, spice chip, spice chip is your guess. Pain um, chip, pain chip. It's it's spicy, but it's it's like a certain kind of like spicy nachos. There's like, like smell it. Okay. Spicy nacho cheese. That's right. my guess. All right, go for it. And flaming hot nacho. You I'll take that nacho. as a win because nacho cheese, nacho, and boy, that was flaming hot. All right. Woo. <gasps> Gonna need some time for the, for my mouth to recover. Well, how about a nice little dance break to give you a minute? You can dance. I'm gonna drink. Oh yeah. Most 
feels good to live me to live in the way that I should. God says what's good to live me to live in the way that I should. Be kind each day, living humble to obey. Do it right. Raise your hands and touch the sky. Stomp your feet if you feel the beat now. Lift your voice and sing it loud. Everybody sing it out now. good song and dance always helps. <laughs> and that song is just so awesome. Let's get back to snacks, because now I'm really in the mood for a snack. So would you say you are craving more potato chips right now? Only if it's the cheesesteak kind. Mm -hmm. You know, one time I ate an entire bag in three minutes. I don't recommend doing that. My tummy immediately regretted it, but it is one of my greatest accomplishments. <sighs> you never stop surprising me, Cam. <laughs> you always have the best stories. Hey, got any more food-related stories? Well. Actually, as a matter of fact, I do. I've never told anybody this story, but one day at lunchtime, I was starving. Nothing surprising there. Yeah. I had packed my lunch all by myself, and it was the dream lunch. Crackers and hummus, a yogurt pouch, slice of pizza, and a peanut butter and potato chip sandwich. All of my favorites in one lunchbox. And my mom had given me a dollar, fresh and crisp, perfect for buying an ice cream cone. It was ice cream day. And you know that only comes once a week. So this was a super big deal. I had eaten every last bite of my lunch and I was in the line to buy my perfectly perfect ice cream cone with the chocolate on top when it happened. What was it? The girl right in front of me had lost her dollar. She had ordered her cone, reached in her pocket, and her money just wasn't there. I felt so bad because she'd already gotten her hopes up for the ice cream and she had no idea the dollar was missing. Well, what happened? What did she do? I mean, did she just get out of line? Did someone pay for her cone? I mean, what happened? I've, 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 I've gotta know. Right then and there, I was faced with a choice. I could either let her have my dollar so that she could have the ice cream cone, or I could let her walk away coneless and enjoy my ice cream cone with the chocolate drizzle on top. Man, what did you do? I remember Joseph's story. I love food. Pizza, triple decker oatmeal cream pies, mega buckets of cheese balls, it's all so good. When my pantry is stocked full of favorites, I'm living the dream. But when my friends come over, I go into high alert mode, stashing the goods behind the veggie chips on the bottom shelf. Cause you know, you can have friends and you can have food, but your friends can't have your food. Joseph had the same opportunity to stash all the food he had been saving up for seven years. But instead, he did something not many of us would do. He shared the food with people from all over Egypt who were in need during famine. Even Joseph's brothers, the ones who had thrown him into a pit and sold him as a slave, showed up hungry, leaving Joseph with a decision to make. His brothers didn't recognize Joseph and bowed down to him as they asked him for food. The whole situation was causing Joseph to get all emotional. On one hand, he did not want to give them food and thought about how nice revenge would feel. But on the other hand, these were his brothers, his family, and they had needs that he could meet. Joseph decided to fill their bags with more food than they came to buy, and without them knowing, gave them their money back. As Joseph's brothers were heading home, they made a pit stop. That's when they noticed something shiny in one of the bags. As they opened it up, Joseph's brothers saw that the money they had given for the food had been returned. Immediately, they all began to panic and wonder if they had been set up. Was someone trying to make them look like thieves? They wondered if God was trying to get their attention. They asked, what is this that God has done to us? They didn't realize that God was actually trying to take care of them. I don't always think about how my actions toward other people might affect their lives and their view of God. But God wants me to live humbly, putting the needs of my friends and my family over my own, just like Joseph did. I don't know about you, but I'm going to need God's help with this one. I mean, I really love keeping these guys right here, but not anymore. 
cheese balls, anyone? You gave her your dollar, didn't you? Yep, I gave her the dollar and I told her she didn't have to pay me back. I can't believe that I haven't heard this story. I didn't want to brag because that would make this story all about me and well, that's not putting others first. That's awesome. It's just the way God wants us to live. And that's what the Bible talks about in Micah 6, 8. In Micah 6, 8, the Bible tells us that the Lord has shown you what is good. He has told you what he requires of you. You must act with justice. You must love to show mercy. And you must be humble as you live in the sight of your God. When God's word says we must be humble, it's his way of telling us that we should think about what others want and need more than we think about what we want. In other words, being humble is just putting others first. We can live humbly every day by looking around to see how we can do something good for the people in our lives before we do things for ourselves. And when this verse says to be humble as we live in the sight of our God, that's just a reminder that it's okay if no one sees the good things we do for others because God sees and He is who matters most. So that's what it's like to live humbly. I'm gonna have to keep my eyes open for a way that I can help someone else today. <laughs> well, let's practice using our eyes with this next game that we can all play together. Okay, this one is an emoji guessing game. We're going to put some emojis up on the screen. Together, the emojis make a type of food. We're all going to try and guess what food we think the emojis are spelling out. This is gonna be awesome. All right, get ready viewers because these emojis are coming in hot. Okay, so emoji number one, we have a pug. Fire and pug. Fire pugs. Fire, fire, uh, hot. Hot dog. Hot dog, <laughs> hot dog. Okay, that's that's number one. We got hot dog. Hot dog. Got it, all right. Chef Key. Key chef? No. Chef Baker. Baker. Baker Key. Um, cook. Cook. Cook Key. Cook key. Man, cook I'm so key. bad at this game. All right. All right, round three. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> oh. Pan. Cake. Pancake. Got it. All right. <laughs> All right, number four. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. All right, chick. What do chick, you have at the beach? Chick sand. And then? Uh, it's a chicken sandwich. I love it. All right. Okay, so uh, chocolate. Right. Um, bot uh, wait, it's, it's what's, what's in, in the, the bottle. bottle. So no. milk and shake. shake. So chocolate, milk, milk shake. shake. Bingo. <laughs> Got it. All right. That was so fun. It was great, but I mean, I'm really super hungry now. Well, why don't we take a quick snack break while we check this out? Tell us a time that you used something you had to help somebody else. Hmm. Oh, you're gonna love this story. So, God has given me a very loud voice and really long arms. So, I had the privilege of getting caught on in class all the time. Well, one day, we were researching famous inventions in class, and the teacher had us volunteer to raise our hand and share what we found. So, I thought I found something really cool, but my friend Ram also thought he found something really cool. So I decided to help him out. I used my long arms to raise my hands. Since he was short and he's kind of quiet, I raised my hand and sure enough, I got caught on. And instead of sharing what I had found, he shared what he had found. And he got to tell the class how slushies and ices were made how somebody's ice machine broke. They took the drinks, put them in the freezer, took them out later, and there were slushies and ices, the same ones you enjoy at the gas stations today. That was a cool story. It really was. So many good things can come from being humble and just using what you have to help others out. Yep, and I may need your help with what's coming up next. Rapid, Rapid Fire, Fire Review. Review. Yes! All right, one of us is going to recap everything we've learned today in one minute or less. But there's a catch. While one of us is reviewing, the other one is gonna be throwing things. If the reviewer is able to name six things we've talked about today during that minute, the thrower has to put their hand in the mystery box. But if the reviewer doesn't name at least six things during the minute, they have to put their hand into the mystery box. And since today is all about snacks, there's probably something in there that's delicious or not so delicious. Mm, I really want that box now. <laughs> Me too. I guess we're just gonna have to play a game to see who's going to get it. Okay, um, I'm thinking of a number between one and 10. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with five this time. It's right in the middle, safe. I like your strategy, but the number is 
won. Ugh, well, I overshot. All right, you win. Yes, that means I'm gonna play the review game. <laughs> Let's go. All right, safety goggles on. And here we go. <clears throat> okay, we learned that being humble means uh, putting others first. Um, then we, uh, we ate, uh, we ate some chips. Uh, we sang a really cool song. Uh, we heard about Joseph and how he took care of others just because he could. Um, uh, and then there was the story about the other person, just like us, who's living humbly, putting others first. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Done in record time. Uh, well, that was record time, Ryan. But I'm afraid you only named five things from today. Oh man. Okay, let's go to the mystery box. Okay, mystery box, what do you got? All right. Oh, oh it's okay, it's cold. Um, it's kind of hard, but it's, oh, it's squishy in the middle. Like there's a, a filling of something? Oh, like, uh, okay, I'm gonna guess it's like an unmicrowaved hot pocket. <laughs> yeah, is that, did I get it? Uh, no, very much not a hot pocket. <laughs> it's an ice cream cone. Wait, wait, hold up. An ice cream cone with chocolate drizzle on top, just like the one from your story. And you're right, you're gonna love it. You know, actually, I think you should have it. After all this time. Well, thanks, bud. <laughs> Today was so much fun. We learned how to live humbly and use what we had to help other people. There's a prayer that I wanna pray that I think will help us this week. So let's pray. Father, thank you so much for loving us and giving us so many awesome things. We want to show your love to everyone we meet. Help us see where we can put others' needs before our own. Thank you, we love you, amen. How sweet, the prayer and the ice cream. I know, right? Uh, but now it's time to find out about next week's challenge. You ready? I was born ready. Hey, I have an idea. How about this time we both look at the card at the same time? Great idea. All right, uh, let's close our eyes and we'll open them on the count of three. Okay, closed eyes. One, two, three. <laughs> what, is this real? This is gonna be the best one yet. Wow, I can't wait to find out what their next challenge is gonna be. I mean, they said it was gonna be the best one yet. This show is so awesome. I love that we get to learn about how so many good things can come from living humbly and how we can use what we have to help others out. Please remember to check out seraphat.org slash connect slash children for more resources on today's topic. And join us again next week for another great episode of Right on Time. I hope you have a great week and try your best to think of others as more important than ourselves. Bye.